In this video, we're going to talk about adding your site's logo. So when you install and activate the bridge theme, the theme comes with our default logo. So let's go ahead and change this logo. I'm going to navigate to Code Options Logo. This is the place where you can upload your logo images. So we see that there are several different input fields here. And previously, we talked about how Bridge comes with several different header layouts and several different header skins. So all of these fields, each one corresponds to a particular header layout or header skin. So let's navigate to Code Options header to see our header setup. The header on my site here is set to sticky and I'm using the default header skin. So let's go back to the logo options. For the default header skin, you will want to upload your logo image here. So I've previously prepared a logo image. This is the image that I will be uploading in PNG version. So let's upload my logo. Let's save. And now I'm going to refresh my page. So my logo image has now changed, but it's much smaller than the logo that I've actually uploaded. So this is the original image. And this is happening because the logo image is limited by your header height. So if you upload a logo that is larger than the header, it will shrink down in order to fit into the header. Let's go to Code Options Header. Down here, we have a field called Header Height. So if you want to input a different height for your header, this is where you can do so. The sticky header is 100 pixels tall by default. So my header here, it's 100 pixels tall. So I'm going to keep this default header, but I want the logo to be bigger within the header. So let's see how I could do that. I'm going to open my logo image in Photoshop. So looking at this image here, there's a lot of blank space above and below the logo. And if I go back to my site, I'm just going to highlight this image so that it's easier to see. So we can see that the image here, it also has that same blank space on top and bottom of the logo. So this is why the logo is appearing small. So if I want to increase my logo, I would have to simply increase the logo size within the canvas. So something like this. Now, what a lot of people do is they will increase the entire image like so, and they expect their logo to be bigger. But this is incorrect because in this image, proportionally, there is still a lot of blank space above and below the logo. So using this method, you will not get a bigger logo in your header. So this is incorrect. You will want to increase your logo image within the canvas. So now we have a lot less space above and below the logo. Now, there's one more problem with this logo image. It's not lined up to my grid. And when I select my image, we can see that there is also a lot of blank space on the sides of the logo. So let's get rid of this blank space. All right, so now I have no extra space on the sides of my logo. So let's save and upload this new logo image. I'm going to navigate to Code Options Logo and I'm going to upload my new image. Let's save and let's refresh. So now indeed we have a larger logo in the header. Now you might be wondering what image size should you use for your logo? In order for your logo to be crisp on high definition displays, we recommend uploading an image that is twice the size as its container. 
So we previously said that my header is 100 pixels tall. But when I select my image, we can see that the logo doesn't actually take up the entire header height. There's a bit of space on top and bottom of the image. So in order to find out your logo container height, you will want to take the height of your header and you will want to subtract 10 pixels. My header is 100 pixels tall, 100 minus 10 is 90. So in my case, my logo container is 90 pixels tall. And in order for my logo to be crisp on high definition displays, I will want to upload an image that is twice that size. So 90 times 2, that's 180. So I will want to upload an image that is 180 pixels tall. So let's go back to Photoshop. I'm going to click on my canvas size. And for the height, I'm going to enter 180. I'm going to make my logo a bit smaller here. And I'm going to trim the empty space on the sides of my logo. So this is the final image that I will want to upload. It's 180 pixels tall, so it will be crispy on high definition displays. There is no empty space on the sides of my logo, so it will align with the grid of my page. Now you could also upload a bigger image, that's not a problem, but in my case there is no reason to upload an image that's larger than 180 pixels. All right, let's go back to my site. When I scroll down, we see the default bridge logo. So let's go ahead and change that logo as well. Here in Code Options logo, there's a field called Logo Image Sticky Header. So here I'm going to add the same image. And let's save. Let's refresh. So my sticky logo has also changed. Let's take a look at the remaining logo options. Here we see a field that says logo image light and there's also logo image dark. These two fields correspond with the light and dark header types. Now in this video we're not going to cover header skins in detail so if you would like to learn more about header skins we recommend checking out our video on how to set up your header. We will leave that link under the video description. Now, if you don't plan on using the light or dark header skins, if you only plan on using the default header skin, we still recommend uploading a logo image that's the exact size as your default logo image. And this is in order to avoid any possible misalignment issues. So we recommend uploading a logo image in all three of these fields and making sure that all three images are the same size. And finally, here we have logo image mobile header. So by default, on your mobile header, you will see the default logo. But if you want this mobile header to use a different logo image, you can upload that image here. So in this video, we talked about how to upload your own logo. I hope that it was useful and that you learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.